Hi there, I'm David Zylo, and I'm a master's student at the University of Georgia's Odom School of Ecology, and I want to save the Diamondback Terrapin. Each summer, hundreds of female terrapins like this one here are found crossing roadways trying to find a safe place to nest and lay their eggs. Sadly, many are hit and killed by cars, and I want to stop that. This is their story. Myself and many other researchers across the entirety of the Terrapins range are trying to find solutions to the pressing conservation issues such as road mortality which are facing this species. With your support, we'll be able to purchase needed research supplies such as GPS loggers while also furthering our education and outreach missions. This is the fate of many of these beautiful animals which we're currently trying to save. The diamondback terrapin is North America's only completely estuarine turtle species and are certainly one that's worth protecting. Each summer, hundreds of female terrapins around Jekyll Island leave their aquatic marsh habitats in search of a safe nesting ground to lay their eggs. Sadly, this can lead to conflicts with roads and automobiles. Let's take a look at this one's journey and see how you feel about the problem. In this next clip, you'll see cars traversing the Downing Musgrove Causeway, which is the only terrestrial link connecting mainland Georgia and the popular tourist destination of Jekyll Island. Since 2009, over 900 terrapins have been struck by automobiles along the stretch of road alone, a level of mortality that current models predict will cause population declines. As these female terrapins are the drivers of population persistence and growth, this annual mortality must be reduced. Currently, when a healthy terrapin is encountered on the road, we will safely carry them across before measuring, marking, and releasing them. If they're injured, they're brought to the Georgia Sea Turtle Center for rehabilitation. Here, I'm shown helping this female across the road safely. I want to learn where these individual terrapins are moving to and from the road so that we can protect them further. Here, I'm applying a radio transmitter and a GPS logger that will enable us to learn where these animals are going and what habitats they're utilizing. Once I'm finished attaching and camouflaging these devices, you will see a map showing where this terrapin and another of my study animals had spent the previous month. This individual, named Maverick, is represented by the red dots on the upcoming map. For watching this video, and please consider being a part of the solution by donating and passing this video along to your friends and family. I certainly appreciate the help, and I'm sure the terrapins do as well.